I am Anil Kumar and in set of three videos I will explain you how we can solve absolute function double inequalities. Now double inequalities are sometimes very tricky. Here we have a very simple example. Absolute value of x plus 2 is greater than 1 and is less than 3. So we need to find what is the solution of this that is all possible values of x so that the absolute value of x plus 2 is within 1 and 3. So there are three techniques which can be used to solve all these questions. In this particular video, we will concentrate on graph, right? And in the next video, I'll take the other two techniques and or method and piecewise functions. There are links provided for these. You can actually check those solutions also. So let us first understand how to solve inequality using a graph. Now we need to graph x plus 2 absolute value. As you know, absolute function is always positive and therefore what we will do is we'll take this kind of a graph. Is it okay? Okay. So I'm going to sketch a very rough diagram here which is good enough to solve this inequality or similar inequalities. So when we have x plus 2 absolute value it means that the absolute function x has moved two units left right so so basically if this is my one two three four five six let me just one two three four five six okay let's make some scale right one two three four five six okay so when we say the absolute function has moved two units left that means the vertex of the function is kind of here, right? At minus 2, is it okay? Now, if I substitute 1 here, it becomes 3, right? 1, right? So, okay, that is your x value. We'll start from minus 2 in places close by. If I use one, 1 unit to the right, it is at minus 1. So, at minus 1, the value will be 1, right? And if I substitute 0, then it is going to be 2. So let me take that point and we know it's a straight line. So we'll just join these points and say that is the right side of our function. Is it okay? It looks like the line x plus 2, correct? So, so y equals to x plus 2 is this side line. Absolute function. When I take a value minus 3, it is going to be 1 and then for minus 4, it is going to be minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2 absolute value is again 2 right so kind of here right so that gives us the left side portion of the absolute function so we can just sketch it like this okay so that is the function so generally this will be minus of x plus 2 right so that is sometimes we write absolute function as a piecewise function and then solve it I hope now you understand the relation between these two okay now the question is we need to find the interval when this absolute function is within 1 and 3 that means the y value of 1 right so we can draw a line here this is y equals to 1 and then at 3 so this is 2 this is 3 okay so we'll draw a line here right so if you're working on a graph paper uh, these diagrams will be very very accurate now when you say that this absolute function is less than 3 and greater than 1 it means what it means the portion which is within this right so let me use another ring to show you the solution right so that really means the value between this do you see that so it means this interval that means from here to here do you see that not including those points since it is not equal to right so it is either less than or equal to is it okay and on this side we have from here correct minus one to this point which is plus one correct plus one so that gives us this solution using a graph is it okay so now we can write down our answer so from the graph we know the answer is between so this is minus 2 3 4 5 right so it is 
minus 5 and this place is minus 3 so the answer is between minus 5 to minus 3 and minus 1 to 1 correct so that becomes the solution for this absolute inequality I hope you understand and appreciate how we can solve absolute inequality with the help of a graph right do you see that so that is the solution so you can just sketch the function draw the lines and we know it is within this portion right beyond minus 5 it is greater than 3 correct so these are the y values 3 and 1 correct so beyond on the left side it is greater than 3 so that is not the solution do you see that so the solution is that this has to be less than that means within 3 units away within 3 units away and outside 1 unit and outside 1 unit do you see that outside 1 unit and that brings us to the second method which is and or or method so we'll now discuss and or or method in the next video i hope that helps thank you and all the best